So we've created our project and now it's time to build our story, the story that we want to tell through our game. Now if we had just finished creating our project, our page would look very much like this. Here's my title, The Dog Chronicles, and my description. But if I had logged out and came back to this later, my page might look like this. Here I would click on Projects, and here's my project, The Dog Chronicles. So the way that I can look at this project again is I need to click on the pencil right here. This pencil will let me edit this project and I can edit it to add in my story. Notice when I clicked that pencil now I have all these options here again just like I did right after I had finished completing my project. So I'm going to click on stories and when I do I can see that this is the place where I need to tell what my story will be about. So let's go ahead and create a new story. When I create a story, I'll get a pop-up box which will ask me for a title and the message in my story, and I'll need to think about the dramatic arch. What is the story that I hope to tell with this game? How does it begin? What is the action that happens? What, what are the really important moments? And what happens at the end? So I'm going to put in the title of my story, and I'm going to call this title Finding Old Man Smith's Dog. Now, I've already typed out my story in another document, so I'm just copy and pasting it in here. Now I have to think about my message. What is the message I want to tell people who play my story? Well, I want to tell them that it's better to be honest than to lie. Now, I need to put in the scenes or the sections of my story that talk about the setup, how, this, how the story is set up, and the setup is how do I introduce my characters? How do I let players know what the problem is? So in my particular story, it's going to start by meeting the character mom, and mom is going to ask the player if he or she knows anything about that missing steak from the fridge. So now I'm on to the action scene. The action scene, or scenes, are the scenes in your story where all of the activity or the action takes place, where you see what's really going on. So in my story, we're going to see a player talking to a dog. And this dog is eating a steak. Hmm. Uh, the player has to decide, or the player does decide to go inside and get some water for the dog. So next is the boss moment, or the boss scene. And the boss scene is the most important scene in your entire story. This is where your player has to use everything that they've learned and experienced up until this moment and make a pretty big decision and that decision is going to change everything. So in my story, mom is going to ask the player who the water is for. Because remember my player just went inside to get some water. Mom's going to ask who, that, who the water is for and the player is going to have to decide whether to lie or tell the truth. Now I need to put down my outcome. The outcome means what are the consequences so what happens if my player tells the truth? What happens if my player chooses to lie? Well, in my story, if the player tells the truth, mom will get the family a new dog. But if the player lies, the, um, the player will not get a new dog. So I have my entire story laid out now. I kind of have an idea of what all of my scenes are going to be. And so after I save this, we will come move on to our next video. And in our next video, we are going to create a character.